Okay, so today I'll be showing you how to do a set extension in After Effects. And it's very simple. And right now I already tracked the position and rotation. Because the footage is really a bit rotating. And yeah, it's really simple to track motion it. So uh, I just tracked these leaves and on the ground. Okay, so yeah. And then what we're going to do is we're going to find a perfect frame like here or anywhere. That's pretty good. And I'm going to go to the composition, we're going to go to the save frame as to file. It's going to be saved as in Photoshop layer, so yeah, it's going to be still image. Anyways, we're going to go open up the Photoshop, this is the footage. And I have a picture of a barrel from Google Images, and I'm going to track a point on the ground. So we're going to remove the background, so we're going to use the magic eraser tool because it's white. And you're going to do is you're gonna blur the edge, so the edges are pretty stupid. Okay, so next we're gonna do is we're gonna make we're gonna feather the the barrel on the ground like that. That looks uh, too much feathered. Okay, whatever. That feels that looks good. Anyways, I'm gonna do a color correction in the picture. We're gonna do an image adjustment to the curves. We can just play around with the settings or too bright and go to blue channel. Play around with the blue. Yeah, that looks a bit more. Cool. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, and then we can do is well. Actually, we can just edit this in After Effects. So next, we're gonna do is we're gonna save this. We're we're done saving it. And then we're gonna go to the After Effects, and we're gonna go to Import, Import File, Tutorial. Okay. Once you have imported this. You will want to open this, and you can uh, drag the layer and set it up, whatever it's set up already. So you can parent this to the null object. Now it'll be sticking on the ground. So it's rotating with it together. Anyway, so to make this more realistic, we can drop shadow it, or you can make a shadow back. You can duplicate it and click. Color correction to the tint and tint. We're gonna tint it to black. And um, you can turn this in a 3D layer, and you're gonna rotate this. Oops. So just rotate it. Um, we're gonna r rotate this. And uh, make a flat image, whatever. Um, and then we can drag that below to the layer one, so you get this. And you can do is you can turn the opacity down like seventy percent. And um, yeah, and also what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the color correction here because we have a light over there, so we want to make a light. Bathroom. What we're going to do is color correction to the levels. And you can just play around with these settings here. So, because this part should be darker, because there's no, barely no lights, but it's not too dark. The front should be much brighter. And that looks pretty good. Okay, um, I think I want to maybe turn the opacity a bit lower like 40% or 50% is pretty good okay so yeah now we're gonna add a color correction we're gonna go to adjustment layer and uh, yeah we're gonna see let's use some color correction curves play around with the settings not too bright Actually, I'm not gonna play around with the RGB RGB should be normal See a uh, red channel, make a bit reddish, and um, blue channel, bluish. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna use color correction, hue saturation. Bring up the hue saturation up, or bring it down. Uh, whatever. They make it a bit darker. And I'm gonna use color correction, uh, 
let's see, color balance. We can just bring up the mid-tone about blue to make it bluish and uh, bring down the red balance. Or spit to make a more bluish color, right? And uh, we can use, uh, let's see, we can do this color correction and levels to crush the color. So for the white, we can just crush the color. It's pretty cool with c crushing colors. Alright, that looks pretty cool. With the barrel and the street. Alright, thanks for watching and please subscribe.